Hello and welcome to the video. This video is uh, an iNav Pro tip, particularly if you're into things like flying wings. Now, iNav modes are really well explained in the wiki, but there's two modes that you should be using or looking at if you are flying fixed wing that are very close cousins. And I don't think the differentiation in the documentation in iNav is quite clear enough. So I'm going to cover that in here. Now, I need to say a massive thank you to a gentleman called Pavel Spakowski, and I'll put a link in the description to him. He's one of the lead iNav developers and a guy that I talk to regularly. Really, really lovely chap, fantastic channel, giving tips and tricks about iNav. And he was really helpful in kind of explaining the differences in these modes. Because when I maiden an aircraft with iNav, you'll see in my videos that I always add something called manual mode. And although that's really good for maidening a model because it gives you the ability to turn iNav off, kind of, so that if something horrible has been set up um, incorrectly in iNav, you can still get your model down safely, it's actually not a particularly great mode to fly in once you've got iNav all dialed in. In fact, the other mode called Acro is probably a better bet. And let me explain why. First of all, let's talk about manual flight mode. Now, manual flight mode is selectable in the iNav configurator in exactly the same way as you would any other flight mode. And manual flight mode is a little bit different. It doesn't use the PIF loop. That's proportional, integral, and feed forward. And those are the PID loop equivalents for something like a fixed wing. So you are turning off all of the help and support of the flight controller and flying it as directly as you can when you have iNav installed. Now that's the reason that I use it for maidens because it does mean that if you have something weird set up, you've got your PIFF settings weird, your corrections wrong, your board alignments whacked out, whatever it is, doesn't matter. If you put it in manual mode, it gets rid of all that stuff and you can just fly the plane directly yourself. The mode that I would recommend that you fly in the most once you have everything set up on your fixed wing is going to be acro mode. Now, acro mode is a little bit complicated in that it isn't listed as a mode in configurator. It's the mode that the system defaults to if you don't have a mode selected. Now, acro mode does use the PIFF loop and the tuning that is on the flight controller. So you still get the benefit of that stabilization from proportional, if you use that on a, on a wing, the integral and the feed forward element of the loop actually to help you with the flight, but you still have direct control. There is one thing that you have to be aware of on the bench, and that is when you're in acro, you might see that as you move the sticks on the radio, the control surfaces on the model move only a very small amount. And for lots of people, that really freaks them out. It used to freak me out until I realized what was going on. Now, if you dial back the proportional part of the PIFF loop, if you have integral relatively low and feed forward uh, at the right level, then on the bench where the motor stopped, then the integral or the I element of the PIFF loop isn't going to be working. If you've got the P turned off, which I tend to do for fixed wing, I'll put a link to my video explaining why below. All you're seeing is the feed forward element of the PIF loop in the movement of the controls. And that is why they only move a teeny weeny bit. Doesn't matter once it's flying and once the throttle is running and the I term is, is running and everything else is, is tickety boo, those controls will move as per your expectations and the model would fly as you set it up. So do be careful of that if you put it into acro, which again is only selected when you don't have any other mode selected. When you test it on the bench, you'll just get a little more small movements of the ailerons, elevator, rudder, aile elevons, whatever it is you have in your model. So there you have it. That's the difference between the two. Uh, manual mode is really manual. It doesn't have any of the PIFF loop pieces in it. It's the one that I would only really use for your maiden to give you a bailout option if I now have misbehaves. Acro, where, which isn't selectable as a mode in configurator, 
is the one I'd recommend. You're going to get a limited throw on the bench, but it's going to be the nicer one, in my opinion, to fly because you've got that little bit of stabilization going on and support from iNav that should hopefully should work in tandem with the airframe. Obviously, angle mode is the only other one that I would use, but I would tend to set that up if it's a trainer function or I'm handing over the sticks to a pilot who's never flown before because angle limits the pitch and roll and also and, uh, sets up things like auto level. But if you are an accomplished flyer of wings and fixed wing, acro, once you've tried it out, uh, you won't go back. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.